Good day everyone! Today, let's talk what's in a DNA. Learning competency. Explain the different patterns of non-Mendelian inheritance. For subjective, at the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to identify the components of the DNA molecule. Let's understand that DNA means the oxyribonucleic acid. D stands for deoxyribose, N stands for nucleic, and A stands for acid. So what's the role of DNA? DNA carries the genetic information that contains the instructions needed for organisms to grow, develop, reproduce, and survive. So when we see genetic information, these are the hereditary traits. We have like height, whether tall or short. For instance, your father is tall and your mother is short. Then they have children who are all tall. So their children are tall because they inherited the trait from their father. DNA is made up of nucleotide. So this image shows a single strand of DNA. How many nucleotides do you see in this DNA strand? There are five. Okay, look at the image here, the one, the box image. So this is one nucleotide. So we have five nucleotides in this image. So one, two, three, four, five. And each nucleotide is made up of a nitrogen space, phosphate group, and five carbon sugar. The nitrogen bases of DNA are cytosine, symbol is C, thymine, the symbol of T, adenine, the symbol is A, and guanine, the symbol is G. And the nitrogenous bases could be pyrimidines, which includes cytosine and thymine. Uracil is for RNA. And then we have purines, like adenine and guanine. Adenine always pairs with thymine. Guanine always pairs with cytosine. And adenine and thymine are joined together by two hydrogen bonds. Guanine and cytosine are joined together by three hydrogen bonds. The backbones or strands are made up of phosphate group and the oxyribose tubar. The directionality of the left strand is 5 prime end to 3 prime ends down. On the other hand, the directionality of the right strand is 3 prime end to 5 prime ends down. Actually, the DNA was discovered by James Watson, an American biologist, and Francis Crick, an English physicist, in 1953. So they discovered that DNA is a spiral, double helix in structure. Friedrich Mischer, a Swiss researcher, isolated a molecule called nuclei. Nucleine means DNA with associated protein from a cell nucleus in 1869. So that's the structure of DNA and the people behind the discovery of DNA. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. For more information, you may visit these references. Have a great day.